In 1954, something extraordinary happened to Ann Hodges in Sylacauga, Alabama. She was peacefully napping on her couch, wrapped in cozy quilts, when out of nowhere, a meteorite crashed through her ceiling. Can you imagine the shock and disbelief she must have felt? But that's not all. The softball-sized rock bounced off a radio and struck Anne right in the thigh, leaving a bruise shaped like a pineapple. It was a direct hit from outer space. At first, Anne thought mischievous children were to blame for the strange occurrence. Little did she know, the truth was far more extraordinary. When her mother rushed outside, all she saw was a mysterious black cloud in the sky. But the people of Alabama had a different perspective. Many reported seeing a fireball and hearing a tremendous explosion that created a white or brownish cloud. They thought it was an airplane accident. Anne was examined by a physician who confirmed that although her hip and hand were swollen and painful, she had miraculously escaped serious injury. But the story doesn't end there. A government geologist arrived at the scene and identified the object that hit Anne as a meteorite. This 8.5-pound, 7-inch rock had come hurtling through the atmosphere, defying all odds to strike a human being. Anne Hodges became the first documented case of a person being hit by a meteorite. The incident made headlines and put Silicauga on the map. But the aftermath was just as fascinating. The meteorite was confiscated by the police chief and later handed over to the United States Air Force. There were offers of up to $5,000 for the rock, but the Hodgeses and their landlord settled for $500. Unfortunately, by the time they got the meteorite back, public attention had waned, and they couldn't find a buyer. In the end, Anne decided to sell the meteorite to the Alabama Museum of Natural History for a mere $25. But not everyone had an anticlimactic ending. A farmer named Julius K. McKinney discovered a second fragment of the meteorite the day after Anne was struck. He sold it to the Smithsonian for enough money to buy a small farm and a used car. As for Anne, the incident took a toll on her mental health. She suffered a long nervous breakdown and had to be hospitalized. Tragically, her relationship with her husband deteriorated and they divorced in 1964. Just eight years later, Anne Hodges passed away at the age of 52. Her story is a reminder of the incredible power and unpredictability of the universe.